Well, let, hold on, hold on, hold on on that, hold on. What's good, good people, and welcome to episode 39 of It's Just Not Adding Up. Kenzie Scarrow, Kenzie Scarrow. I'm Obio, and over the years I've noticed gay is a scary word for a lot of people, which is wild because it's just gay. But don't worry, I've decided to be your gay coach. <laughs> Everyone's talking about equality and love, but I don't know. It's just not adding up. So basically, these three doctors, um, Alfred Kinsey, who was the person who I guess spearheaded it, um, came together and created this thing called the Kinsey Seal. They felt like people were more than just heterosexual, homosexual, or bisexual. And they wanted to see where you existed between the three. And so they interviewed a few thousand people based on their sexual history, and that then determined where they sat on this six point rating scale. I'll put the rating on the screen. Basically, zero is super straight. One is straight, but you find the same gender attractive. Two is you are straight, but you find the same gender more attractive than you should. Three is equally bisexual. Four is, you know, gay but a little bit straight five is gay but like more straight than you should be and six is completely gay before you hear my thoughts i want to hear yours drop yours in the comments right now just pause the video and drop what you think of the scale in the comments i think for the time period though the scale is actually pretty progressive considering in 1948 how homosexuality was still a mental illness it was still illegal um there was so the government backed the fact that it was a mental illness there were so many things socially that didn't make room for anything queer so to even examine queerness on a spectrum you know okay we'll take it but at the same note i would wonder what were the specific questions asked about someone's sexual history right like how comfortable was the person communicating these things considering the time period like there's so many factors i think that contribute to the validity of like what the test really did in my opinion also how did the people identify who took the test right was there like a number of like straight people who came in there who considered themselves to be straight came in considered themselves bi came in considered themselves gay or was it just like here are the questions and i'm gonna tell you how you should label yourself you know what let's take the test so apparently there's no official kinsey test a lot of these are made up you know later on in life but Alfred Kinsey didn't like I guess sign off on what the test that we use to then like gauge where we land on the scale. These aren't official tests, but we're gonna take one right now. So let's see what happens. Question one is to whom are you attracted? Both men and women, mostly people of the opposite sex from mine, mostly people of the same sex as mine, only people of the opposite sex from mine, only people of the same sex as mine. But like what is attractive, right? Like well, I guess attractive versus attractive. Like I find women attractive. Am I attractive? It's a no for me. I'm gonna go with only. Right. Who have you had sex with? You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> um, both men and women, both men and women, but I prefer people of the opposite sex from mine. Both men and women, but I prefer people of the same sex as mine. Only people of the opposite sex from mine. Only people of the same sex as mine. Um, I've had sex with both. Wow. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. Who have you had sexual fantasies about? Both men and women, mostly, you get the, the gist of it. Um, who have you had sexual fantasies about? I think I've had sexual fantasies about. Who have you had sexual fantasies about? I've had fantasies about both, but, but let's just keep going. With whom do you form strong emotional bonds? I'm gonna assume they mean strong emotional romantic bonds. Um, and that is gonna be only people of the same sex, huh? Period. Who do you feel the most comfortable socializing with? <laughs> Interesting questions to see where you land in terms of orientation, but um, I'm comfortable socializing with both. Um, the idea of having sex with someone of the opposite sex from mine is desirable, interesting, tolerable, negative, disgusting. I mean, it's not disgusting, but it's a negative for me. I'm saying, <laughs> it ain't gonna, mm, nah, nah, it ain't gonna work. And I think this is the last, oh, was it the last one? The idea of having sex with someone of the same sex as mine is. Yeah. Mm. So I am a four, huh? Homosexual, more than incidental heterosexual tendencies. 
Now again, they say this is not an official test from Dr. Alfred Kinsey, so I'm gonna let him slide on this. I'm assuming the questions were a little bit more robust, and I'm also gonna assume that the questions were different. I don't know, in my personal opinion, I think I can see how someone can benefit from this test, from like someone who wants to be a little bit more fluid, but still wants to like validate their fluidity, because we live in a society that makes you validate every piece of you. But I also can see how this can be kind of confining for somebody who is trying to like live amongst people and enjoy people and be liberated, but also still exist on one side of the spectrum, right? So like for me, I'm a gay man, but I am attracted to women. I think women are beautiful. I don't want to have sex with any, but I think women are beautiful. I think as a gay man, you can find women beautiful, find their whole vibe, their whole aura beautiful, and still not want to have anything romantic with them. And I don't think that it should be like a question to whether or not, or where you sit on this queer spectrum, or like this, you know what I mean? Like this like, wait a minute, who, who am I? That's a Raven moment. <laughs> to then be comfortable with who you are. I think you can still be gay and recognize someone's beauty. I think you can still be straight and recognize someone's beauty and then not have to then cause for this label switch or for you not to be like, I guess a zero or a six. Cause if you ask me, I'm a six. Period. Okay, so let's do it like this. So drop your number that you got from taking the test. I'll put the link to the test in the bio as well. Drop the number you got and the number you think you are. Um, I'm curious. <laughs> And I'll see you guys in episode 40. Keep creating space. Peace.